they're about to announce it, so let's go right to back to Dr. Newton. His opponent is making his professional baby. This gentleman started boxing at eight years old to avoid the dangers of tough surroundings. He now trains and mentors in his community. Please welcome Jared Doughboy Wells. Nothing doughy about Jared Wells making his professional debut as he makes his way to the ring. Let's go, Wells. You know, Wells is ready. You've seen him in the back. Um, he looked positive. He looked like he was, you know, just fluent. Um, seen him in the warm-ups. He told me he was confident. Very quiet. Very quiet kid in the back. So he's obviously taking this serious. Um, and I like to see that from a young fighter. Hey, so this now is set for four and three minute rounds in the welterweight division. In the blue corner, standing 5'10", an orthodox fighter weighing in at a combat ready, 143.6 pounds. He scored a devastating first round KO in his most recent fight from Wilson, North Carolina. And representing Reed Street Community Training, Jay Sean Hunter. <laughs> And now we focus our attention to the red corner. A six-one with an outsider weighing in at group 147.6 pounds. He has an amateur record of 15 and 3 and tonight makes his professional debut. From the Compton, California, and now representing more time chain in Charlottesville, Virginia, Aaron Delboy Wells to the center of the ring family. Well, I guarantee this will not be the theme of the night, but this is the theme of our first two fights. Another big age difference. As Doughboy Wells is making his professional debut, but he is 42 years old. I know he's been waiting for this for a long time. He is very, you mentioned it, he is very excited and active in the back. And Wells has got the, well, look, he comes out Ooh, strong, but go. right to the body. AJ, and look at this. AJ, nothing but a number. I tell you that much now. Look at this. Jason oh, Hunter in the black. Jason Hunter in the black, Wells in the multicolor with the yellow. This is a professional fight, ladies and gentlemen, so, so it's all out there. Yeah, this is this is where it's dangerous too. They're going from speed. No one's scared. This is this is a serious deal. And, and they are coming right at it fast and fierce and early. No. Wells has to keep his composure and stay long. Where Jay Shot has to come in underneath his jab and, and hurt him. Just like he just tried to do there, he got to come in under that jab. And coming with the overhand, but uh, Wells got to stay long. Wells got to do what he's doing right now. He has to stay long, keep that jab, and stay right there in the chest. And you make a great point because Wells, just by looking, is the much longer, lengthier fighter. Yeah. But so by you being the longer fighter, you have to you have to play the reach, you have to play the distance, you, you have to be the sharper, longer fighter. And Jason Hunter, as I mentioned, took this fight on very short notice. Very short notice. So, so first of all, hats off to him for taking this fight on short notice. Um, like I said, it, it's respect to any man that's getting inside of this square circle. Period. Point blank. Any discussion on my eyes. Um, but um, you know, just just to have him here, you know, like I said, it's, it's a good deal. But you see, you see what we're dealing. With, you know, uh, Wells is ready. Well, uh, there's already blood coming out of Wells' nose. There's some uppercut there. Wells got some good yes. two straight right hands. Yeah. Hunter, Hunter's not gonna. He's not. He's not in shape to go to the rounds. Wells is ready. And that's the thing about it. It's a battle right now. But if, the, if it goes one more, and, and there's a lot of blood coming out of Wells' yeah. mouth. Wells, Wells so, has. Wells has to keep the range. And Wells actually was, was motioning to the to the referee that that might be coming from a head as opposed to a yeah. punch. We'll have to look back at that. So you can see, though, the difference of Jay Sean where he's gassing out now. You know, Hunter's getting tired. Yeah, you can already see. Remember this. Every time you get hit, there's, 
the energy is, is, is this place that it comes out of you also. So even though Wells is bleeding, Jay Sean is still taking the three of the punches. And they came out, both of them came out so fast and furious. Yeah, very, very that much. there it is. And you can start to see Hunter fading a little bit. Wells with a big one, two at the top. Yeah. Another big right hand for Wells. You can't keep taking that that velocity, that those dynamic punches like that and think that's going to be okay. Hunter's mouth is wide open right now. And it's a big right hand for Wells. Another he big right hand. He's going to make it out the round, but he's not going to make it out the set. Good Body work. Shot. Good work by Wells, man. Staying long, staying range. And that was a very active first round. That was a very active first round. They may have, <laughs> they may have, uh, usually fighters may have punched themselves out of that to me. Mm. You know, uh, this is a second round, it's always interesting the second round whenever it's dynamic punches. I do have to ask, too, because when they start so on, this started almost Hagler Hearns like just right going at it. So with that How happens, do you gain your composure back? How do you gain your breathing back? That's the thing. Now you're locked in. So now it's going to be the gas game. Who's going to have the more in the tank? Because now, so what's going to happen now when they're going to come out? It's not going to be as active. They're going to be more poised because they just gas themselves out. So now the question is who's been in the gym? Who's put the work in? And it also and has, to, about and it has to come to coaching as well. And, not, oh, and when I say so. that, once you get tired, it really turns into instinct, right? So who very instinctually so. has the fundamentals I to always, really bring back? I always say it's great when a coach knows that his fighters get tired and makes them recognize it so that you can recalibrate now. So the thing is, who's tired, who had a talking to, and uh, what's the idea? Was it still here with his jab and staying long and ranging? Wells is now starting to use that length, and you can see it. He started with the jabs, and Hunter comes in. Like I told you, you know, it's going to start bit, to it's going to start to show who's tired. A little bit of fatigue, yeah, out. definitely. Who's not in shape? Wells, I, really good, really good jabs. I, I take I take my hat off to him for uh, taking it on short note, on you know, short day notes or whatever. But uh, like I said, it, I don't I don't see it going too much longer. Really? As, long as, as long as Wells just stays focused, he should be able to keep his distance, keep his range, and, uh, you know. Really good work for Wells. You also do have to remember. Jay Shot's coming in, though, man. Sheesh. He's, he's moving forward. He's, full speed. he's a bull. He, he's moving forward, and he's doing what he does. Oh. There's also a thing that we, an aspect of this fight that we haven't talked about that much. And the fact that this is Jared Wells' pro debut. Yeah. So this is the first time he's been to, in these type of lights and situations. I had to look at the paper twice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had to look at Sean Confirm, but he is 42. Right? Like, he's that's 42 years old. This is pro I'm debut. Like, he's 42 pro debut. I talked to some of his team in the back. But man, he looks young. He looks good. Man. He looks great. He, he looks the part. And, and this is a long time coming for him. He... His amateur record that we're talking about, that 15-3 and three amateur record, uh, a lot of those fights happened early on in his life, and then he took a legitimate break to come yeah. back to the ring. Yeah, so, you know, Big it's a, uh, and again, this is also a little test for him, you know, um, see where you are, maybe we can have some good fights, you know, so, so all of these things are just training settings for these guys, see where they are, see what we can do. Getting a little chippy in there with the uh, with the clinching. Yeah, once you once you get tired, you get desperate. You start trying to clinch. You start trying to hold. So uh, that's what I told you before. The the, the velocity that Wolf's punching and hitting these guys with, you can tell they were gonna wear them, and that's what you start to see now. The guy you hear in the background, the legendary guy Skip himself, the man Skip himself. And it does look a little bit like... Man, Wells is full. I mean, he's throwing clubs. He's throwing clubs, but the fight, Sheesh. The fight is a little well. bit harder than it should be. Because with the link so, so. and the jab, right? Am I right? So now I'm looking like Wells has to keep that composure because now I'm starting to see the Hunter's not stopping. He's not throwing a crazy oh, amount. Big right hand. Again, this big is, right hand by this is, John Hunter. This, I just called this. You're seeing it now to where maybe he's kept his composure and he just may be able to pull it up soon. Um, now Wells comes back with the right. Wells could be pushing very, himself out. Very interesting second round. Like you said, both of these guys collapse, <laughs> literally collapse in the corner on their chairs. That's, that's where you're going to start are, to see it. At. They are extremely tired. And this is a four-round fight. We've got two rounds left. 
Both exactly. of these guys have the hands on their knees. So, so this, yeah. I tell you what, this third round, call me calling it right now. This is about this look fest. Yeah. <laughs> the third, third round will be a slug fest. I think it's who, who is going to be able to stopped. control their emotions, control their breathing, so. and go back to what they've learned in the gym. Well, Whoever I, gets too excited, they're going to get knocked down this round. Look at that. That was the replay of the big right hand by Hunter. So see, that's that's where Wells can't get complacent. See, so Hunter's going for the knockout. Point blank period. Wells cannot get complacent and just try to rely on this jab these last two rounds. He had at this point, he has to dominate. Wells is gonna have to start punching sharper and actually he's gonna have to stop the club, the club and punches, and he's gonna have to get more direct. He's gonna have, he has to stop Wells. I, I think, mean, he I has think, to stop I think Wells. Wells has to use his length, his jab. Yeah, and Wells his has to stop on it, yeah. Wells, Wells has to stop on it. And this is the first let round where there's a little bit more tactical starts. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Keep your hands Again, this is a strategy based deal. So when you're, when you're talking strategy, we're talking about chestnut checkers. So again, at this time, like I told you before, Hunter has not slowed down. No, he's, he's getting a little, he's, he's he's getting getting a little bit more down. rough, too. There's a lot more rough houses coming from the Hunter side. Exactly. If, if, if we're looking at who's the bully of this fight, it looks oh, like it's, it's Hunter. Hunter. And that's why I said Wells has to start sticking the punches now. You no longer can just punch and just keep your range. Because now, now Hunter's, he, Hunter's not respecting Wells' power. No. And when you're a tall fighter and you have a, a short fighter coming inside, not respecting your power, it can be dangerous to your body. I mean, throw that overhand. It's a big <laughs> overhand it, right by Wells there. It can be, it can be very different. Wells' frame. This this fight is taking place. This fight is taking place at 147. Do you know who Wells' frame remind me of? Remember Paul Hunter, former champion? <laughs> and Paul, uh, uh, Paul Williams. I know, I know Paul Williams. I know what you're talking about. I already Paul, know I left. Paul Williams, the welterweight that's, champion. That's who I was. That's, that's, that's when he, you he look at the weight, when you look at the arm length yeah. and the hand length, they are buying some, some time here with the mouthpiece. So we'll that he can get, you. You get that air. So that's what I told you. See, see, so this is what happens when <laughs> you punch out, but you're not hurting the person. Skip, Skip and them had a great plan. And uh, like I said, Hunter may pull an upset. We, 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 we shall see. This is a very so tough. Well, yeah. This is a very tough fight to score because let's just—it's not a—it's not a beauty contest. Oh, oh, it's not at all. And so, Wells is gonna make the fight ugly at this point because he's desperate to win. So, to, so to pull the win off, Wells has to get dirty. He has to. He has to grind at this point. He got to get it in. Like Hunter is coming in for blood right now. So Wells has to be smart. Wells has to keep him off. See right there, Wells has to turn him and then keep his rank right there. And use his length. Wells is not he using the length that he has. He has to use the jab. Hunter's throwing. Jesus. Hunter is throwing with bad intentions. And the idea, yeah. the idea for Hunter though is is also we just mentioned range. Oh, big right hand. Sheesh. Big right hand for Wells. That wall. And he might have hurt him. He might have hurt him. So I, I can tell you this. I can tell you this now. What happens when a man hits you with everything he has when you're still going? And that's the question right now. Wells Wells has to be able to keep that gas pedal like that for one more round. He has to he has to constantly remind Hunter to respect him. Great, great end to the round. Great end to the round. Is there, a, is there another mouthpiece again? And it's well as now. Oh man! So, interesting. He's getting winded. This is the this, this is the second this is the second mouthpiece break on Wells' part. However, Wells has actually looked like he was taking control of that round with the right hand. But see, that's the thing about it. So you're taking control, and then you get tired. You can't gas out. If I if I was if I was hunting right now, I would come in full speed and try to and try to just work him for the last couple seconds. Which is what he's trying to do. And Smart. that ends three rounds. But Wells look us out. Yeah. It is a very, I do not envy the judges on this one. Very tough round, I think, fight to score. Um, because not, not because when you're scoring a fight, you're looking for clean and effective punches, right? Very much so. Three rounds, there's been a lot of punches. I don't know how many of them have been clean, effective, easily scorable punches. <laughs> we call it resting with the feet. <laughs> uh. 
The thong, like they got two left hands. Nah, no, right. no, honestly. Um, nah, it's, 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 it's because they're trying to, they're both, they, they both have a rapport just trying to knock each other out. Yeah. No one's trying to really go the range. No one's trying to go the distance. I mean, look at it right here. Everything's a hard blow. Everything from both sides are hard, rangy shots. You know what I mean? Hunters coming in over the It's like. Is there, and when you when you see fights like this, if you're if you're watching them like we are, there's a fight in the distance. I wish you could box it. There's not a lot of oh, fire. this box. The last round, I can tell you this. They both want to end it. Yeah, so we're not, so, not expecting to box it. Well, no, I lied. I lied because Hunter still come off the blood. Hunter's going for the knockout. Hunter's going for the knockout. I think Hunter might need a knockout to Yeah, oh, he, he definitely does. But I think, I think that he's about to go for the knockout. But see, that's the thing. When you just wrestling, you're not doing anything. But if, if you're going for the knockout, then that's what you have to do. Whoa, Wells is smooth. Every time Wells, man, every time Wells get a little bit of rage, she pops it. I tell you this. Very good slip out of that corner as well. Hunter's going home with a headache. I can guarantee you that we're losing drunk. Hunter's going home with a headache. I, we must be remiss if we don't don't remind the remind the viewing audience. Hunter took this fight on very short notice. And that's why I have extremely to short notice. And he is making a very, very strong showing of himself. Less than forty eight hours? Yep. Impressive. I tell you this. The amount of, of charisma, the, the amount of poise that he has, though, for, for just for just today, is very impressive. Also. Absolutely, I think both men are really given all they have. And I can tell you this: whoever fights either one of these guys next, if they're not in shape, though, they will have a problem. They will have a problem with their hands. And I would strongly, I would strongly say as well as we're looking at the last minute and thirty nine. Oh, and there's a pushback, big right so, hand. So Hunter's getting tired. Hunter's getting tired. Well, Wells could not let that happen. No, look at this. Oh, and, oh, and he's oh, hurt, he hurt him with oh, one hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> said, oh, oh. I want to yell, but I can't. See, this is what happens if the commentator you can't yell and turn up There's another dude. right hand by Wells. But if I was Wells' corner right now, I'd be yelling to him, keep his range, just one two. They've got a one, minute two. and 15 yeah. left. If I was Wells' corner, one two, one two, one two, one two. No, it's not. That's the, that's the thing. One minute left. The interesting part about this fight. Oh no, Wells got his hands. Is his hands on his knee? I don't see, know. Uh, I'm, no, I'm seeing a lot of fights. I don't know if I've seen that before. You haven't done enough to do nothing. That's just like, whether there was a tie. And see, this I don't know. Who see, I didn't know if it was showboating or, or fatigue. It's a man. Oh, it's a big right hand. If a man puts his hands on his knees in the ring and the other man doesn't fire, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> but again, I said I don't know if that was, I don't know if that's fatigue or showboating. I didn't yeah, know. That was, that was the first time I said something like that, man. <laughs> That is, hey, look, hey, guys, that's the river, hey, hey River City, you've seen it here first. You've seen it here first, less than 30 <laughs> seconds left. Great fight, though. Man, these guys are hot. Really? Man. I'll tell you this, I, I would like to know the punch stats for this fight. Very interesting, uh, these guys, man, are uh, In their time, look at this, go 15 for. seconds. Go for. Go for. Let's go, guys. A big go right hand by Wong. A professional debut for the 42 year old yes, Jared yes. Wells. Cinderella man. Kind of sort. 42 year old Jared Wells Very debut. Jared fights Wells. out of uh, Jared Wells. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I got God. You. And fighting out of wartime gym. Again, tough fight to score. I would say the last. He proved it. He, the he, last round, that right hand. Yeah, he's, he's really the right hand. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Well, well, I'll say this. You know what? He drew in. He drew in Hunter a lot, though, with, with the jab. And, like, he was just open target. I mean, like, it was open season, man, with the right hand. And, uh, yeah, that right hand definitely, uh, I mean, just look here. Yep. It was, a, I mean, it's, it's even hard to call it. A straight right hand because it's kind of yeah, a combination yeah. of a kind of a, a hook it's, it's straight. A straight over. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 but but you, so so it was like a looping, looping it's right. A, it's, a, it's a looping right hand. He's coming in and wherever it lands, it just lands. It just know? lands, and oftentimes it landed on Hunter's Hunter's I, face. What I can tell you. Hunter's going to go home with a headache, but he's a tough guy. For him to get in there, you know, with what, 48 hour notice, regardless, I have to Let's go back to the room for Dr. Yu.
Gentlemen, first I'd like to say thank you. How about a round of applause? How about the first round, of boys? All three judges have this fight scored. 40-36. He is now 1-0. Jared Doughboy Wells, put it together, Richmond. Good job, gentlemen. Come on, You say we get a word from Jared. Jared, get over here. Yeah, right here. Let that kid. Okay? Well, Richmond wants to see you. First of all, you got that Deontay Wild right hand. Trying to lay that thing early. Here. Doesn't look like your are Pop score! Hey, she's a great question. What is the difference between one round in the gym when you're training for a fight and a first round like that in your professional debut? Eight rounds in the gym equates to one round in professionals. So when you train for a professional fight, you do a four, four rounds, you can do at least 24, 32 rounds. That's it, you lazy bastards. Come on and do some rounds. And I don't know why they call this boy Dope Boy. He is looking like a professional fighter. One more time, Jared Dope Boy Wells. All right. You on? Yeah, we're on. All right, gang. With this very brief time between the fights, 